Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday morning, uh, hanging out with um, Poppy. Just want to say hi. Uh, you know, I usually, uh, this is the first time I've actually done a quick video um, in connection with a photo. And the reason I did it um, is, one, it's a very, uh, it's a wet, soggy day. And uh, not much I can do out, out in the yard. And um, allergies have kicked my butt the uh, past couple of days. And uh, so just relaxing today is the good thing to do. So... The praying hands, or called hands, by Alvarez Jodor, is um, from the 15th century. And a lot of people, most don't know the story behind this particular uh, uh, drawing. And uh, the story goes back uh, to the 15th century when uh, the Jodor family uh, lived, there was 18 kids living in the house, and um, the father uh, really did everything he could. He was a goldsmith, he did as much as he could to support the family, and uh, it was never enough. But um, two of the kids, Alfred and Alvarez's daughter, Alvarez's daughter, um, they both wanted to go to Nuremberg, uh, to the art school. Uh, and it was very expensive. Parents couldn't afford it. And certainly, one of them wanted to uh, help the other go. So they made a deal. They flipped a coin, uh, the two brothers, and uh, one would work in the mines and support the brother going to the school and when the uh, individual that graduated from the, the art school uh, actually was able to work and support you know the other brother they would uh, do so and uh, the second brother could go to the school so um, they tossed the coin and Alvec won the coin toss he ended up going to Nuremberg where his drawings were better than anything that was being done by any of the masters that were there any of his instructors uh, today we, we look at his drawings if you're into fine art, uh, as some of the most exquisite renderings ever produced by a human being. And um, given the fact that they're almost 450 years old, uh, his, his, his work hangs in museums, in every museum in the world. Just amazing stuff, extremely expensive to purchase. Um, when he got out of the school and graduated, uh, successfully graduating uh, with honors and became a very known and very popular uh, commissioned artist, uh, I think uh, he, uh, he, I think he drew for the kings uh, and queens of the day all over Europe, commissioned guy, just making tremendous money. Um, he was honored by his family at a dinner and at that dinner he thanked his younger brother, uh, his brother Alfred, and, and told Alfred, I'm going to support you now, you're going to go to the school, and Alfred said, no, 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 I can't do that, stood up, tears in his eyes, basically admitted that he couldn't do it, that the mines have damaged all of his fingers, broken every finger, uh, he had arthritis, he just couldn't handle even a brush at this point, and it was pretty, pretty emotional, I guess, for the family to hear this. Um, it was then that... Uh, it, Alvarez drew his brother's hands in an upward fashion like that to, to show that he didn't make it alone, that he made it with the efforts and work of someone else, his brother. And the pain that it went into, the pain that it caused, the, the, the heartache that it caused for someone else to lift up Alvarez so that he could be the famous one today many years later, uh, it's a testament to human condition. None of us are an island. We, we don't do anything alone. We don't achieve anything alone. We don't succeed alone. If there are times in your life when you feel that uh, maybe you need a little uplift, you need a little hand up like that, uh, you know, when you put those hands together uh, and you say that prayer, you'll, you'll get results, no doubt about that. And, and maybe the person or situation that you're praying for will just come into your life, as if by magic. It, it's not magic. It's, it's a plan. Uh, when you reach out and touch this universe and ask for whatever it is you need, you're going to get it. I'm a, confirm, a, a firm convincer of that. And um, you know, I'm going to sign off. It's, it's hot to talk right now. The, the, the chest is just nuts. I'm wearing a 20... My favorite, uh, my favorite sweatshirt, 23 year old Edie's ice cream sweatshirt, which I still wear to the stores on occasion. And people will come up to me and say, Oh, do you have any vanilla in the back? I get a kick out of that. That's when I was a territory sales manager for these guys many, many moons ago. Anyway, hope you're having a great day today. And um, take this to heart. You're not alone. You're never going to be. And there is none of you that are doing anything by yourself. You need a hand. You need someone else or a team to support you. God bless. Love you guys.